Ah, oh, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendez case is hope. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Muller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Welcome back, guys and girls. Richer, cleaner, bolder. I don't think that's what the DA wants with the city. I think he wants it just richer. And that's about it. Because he's not concerned with true justice like us and the Cola King. He just wants people put in prison and people to feel like it's safe. I want to find the true cause of all these crimes, all these these, these gruesome women crimes of, of killing these women and blah, 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 blah. So that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go figure out what's going on. You have the address? The alley off of Liso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys will kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. Hmm. Uh oh. Calling all cars. Dude, we're responding to this call. Excuse us. Turn it on our siren. We're going. Let's make sure this isn't too far of a trek for us. Where is it? Ah, uh, we can get there. I know we're right by our case, but then we'll just, we'll just, uh, we're passing a lot of monuments on the way, I think. Unless these are ones we've already found. Probably ones we've already found, but either way, we'll go this way, get this case done. And then we'll, we'll, uh, have Mr. Rusty drive us. Mr. Finbar, actually, is his true name. We'll have him drive us to the scene of the crime. Here we go. Working our way through Nixon. I'm gonna turn the siren off just because it totally messes with the audio of my files, like when I balance the volume. Just as a little insider tip. Sirens are not good for balancing audio because it totally throws everything off. It, it overpowers every other piece of uh, sound, really. Which isn't necessarily the most grand thing in the world. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, I guess that's on the other corner of the Broadway building. Maybe we've already seen that. I think, yeah, because I think we've seen Pershing Square. Oh, well, we're very close. Let's go take care of this case. Go put some more dudes. Well, with Paul's case, it's not put dudes in prison. It's put dudes in the ground. He pretty much kills everyone on these, <laughs> these side missions here. I don't know if there's any other way to subdue them besides doing the whole I'm going to kill you guy. Calling all cars. That's a game for PSN. You guys ever played that one? Actually, that was like the first game I got for PS3. Before I had any, like, retail titles. That is what I played. Uh-oh. Cop killer shot. Way leads to the rear of the building, sir. Someone's gonna have to climb up and take him down. Good luck. Don't let him get a beat on you like I did. No beads on us. Dude, you're done for. Hey, what about you up Yeah, that's a lot. Dude, how many shots can you take? What are you made of? Iron? Cop killers are the worst kind of stuff. Yep, I agree. Rusty here is climbing like a chief. Finbar? What kind of name is that? Would you name your your child Finbar? Never heard of that one. Maybe it's a 1940s thing. All right, Rusty, let's go. And we gotta go take care of the the naked woman case again. Deja vu. Times three. Uh oh. Serious shooting going on. Peek our head over. What's up? Where are they at? Right there. Hey, buddy. Like killing cops. Whoa, dude. Where are you at? Down. Get sit down. They are done, Cole. I agree. These side missions are sort of silly because they're so short. Like, I want them to be longer threads. Like, oh, we chase this guy and then we find out that he's got a note on him that we have to then go somewhere else or, I don't know, just add a little bit to the side missions. Maybe we'll, we'll temper doing them for a while and, and not do as many in the future here. Coroner, I'm sorry for killing another man. 
I apologize. Well, we get a little of experience for it. A little bit of a uh, rank up points. Although we haven't used intuition all that much lately. So, we'll get in our car. You drive us to the crime scene. Actually, let's go check. I want to just make sure we've seen this Pershing Square because it's not showing up on my map. Whoa, weird music. Um, so I just want to make sure that, like, this is just going to be a good test here. Have we seen these ones or not? Whoa, ah, hey, dude, that's like $5 of vehicle damage. Thanks for ruining, ruining my perfect case, buddy. Okay. Have we seen this landmark? How much closer do we have to get to it? Here it is. Cole, pull out your camera. I'm guessing we've seen this one before. That's why it's appearing on our map. Yep. All right. Well, I was just double checking. All right. We'll have Rusty drive us the rest of the way. I do wish those side missions were You're a little right. bit, uh, maybe had some more dialogue. Maybe like every once in a while it was like, dude, you had to just get, go back to the police station and interrogate somebody. I don't know. It seems like they could expand it on them slightly to make them more than run in, fire five shots with an auto aim gun and make your way. Like even like Red Dead missions had better shooting, better scenes. I don't know. I think they could have done a better job. Uh oh, that was not our current destination that we wanted. Whoops. All right, we. So we gotta set it to the crime scene. Crime scene. Series of alleyways on a commercial block. Rusty, take us here now. Sorry about that, guys. No, no, no. I want Rusty to drive. We're gonna play a little ring drive. around the rosy here. Cole slides all the way through. Slides back in. And get in. Let's go, Cole. Cole, you gonna get in? You drive. No. I need yeah. To go over the case notes. Dude, you drive. Get in. Come on now. That's a little bit finicky, that system there to make that work. 1,000% of the time. This should teleport us right to where we need to get to. Six of 50 of those side missions. They're only like two minutes long. Hmm. Crime scene. 1 p.m. Exactly. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. And once again, guys, a naked body. Neck would indicate a great deal of force. So I will show you all the different clues. But why the library card? Did he want us to find it? Or is it not the naked body Another itself? Another wedding ring torn from the finger. No skin under the fingernails. You'll still get to see everything, though, so you shouldn't miss a single beat here. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copy yet. Strangled, battered, Yeah, naked. yeah, yeah, we know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Muller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mal? Bruising from a small man's shoe. Further blood force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. And from here, we're pretty much in the clear, I think, guys. No more naked body and on camera. She took a blow to the head like the others. She was probably unconscious when strangled. Hmm. Bloody sock. Not a big fan of bloody socks. It's kind of gross. What do we got here? Cigarettes and some... Heck, are these tissues? So soft. No idea. Of course it's incidental, though. Not of much care to Cole or to the crime scene. Make sure we don't show the naked person in the screen. Oh, God, that was really close. More junk over there. Nothing in the police car. But we will make one final cut to the blood. Which is a weird well trail. trail. Yeah, it's a weird trail, Cole. Let's get on it. And this is officially where we resume our regularly scheduled gameplay and commentary. So we follow Rusty over to what seems like a lot of blood and a hat, a purple hat. How does this say? Antonia. Oh, same as the library card. So that must be the woman who was killed. Unfortunately, she's wearing a purple hat. Well, no, not unfortunately she's wearing a purple hat. Unfortunately, she was killed. Purple hats are cool. I'm fine with purple hats. This is a weird trail, though. I've never seen this in any crime scene, so we'll follow it as far as it takes us like a dog sniffing chocolate. My dog almost died from a chocolate overdose, so I don't take that lightly. 
and my dog's only 11 pounds. So, it was kind of dangerous. Miniature poodle. Not a good idea to have chocolate and miniature poodles mix. This blood is weird. What the heck is going on? How far did he drag her? We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. Hmm, very odd. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. What is going on here? What is this guy doing? Why is he tying up her belongings and dragging her blood on the wall? Like, what? How did that even happen? What do you got? That's got to be a code or a cipher. 253. I don't even know what that means. But it's got more blood. How much blood did this lady lose? She should be like a shriveled up grapefruit. Actually, grapefruits are kind of full. More like a shriveled up raisin. I think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall, that brazen son of a bitch. No, that'd be quite the chase. Yeah, that was a total, totally bad analogy. I mean, raisin, not grapefruit. Goodness. <laughs> Blood on the wall. Where are you taking us? Yeah, that's what I don't know. I feel like parkour time. Like, about to climb this. Climb this ladder, do some mirror's edge work here. Cole is pretty fast at climbing ladders, so if you need a ladder climber, I would definitely recommend Phelps. Dude is fast! Birds and blood and chicken coops and pigeons. The heck is this killer doing? This this has got to be the Black Dahlia. No one's this crazy. What do we got here? Open sesame. Empty. Where is all of this meant to be taking us? No freaking idea, Cole. You tell me. We're on top of a building. He really wants us to find these things. He left them for us. In a chicken coop, doing some parkour. Might just be getting more confident. Enameled and gold plated. This was precious to her. Hmm. No one is like crazy enough to do this. Like if it was just the husband or something, he wouldn't be this this like ridiculous. He'd want to hide it. This has to be tied to overall bigger events. It's gotta Four be. Points up. Yeah. What the heck? How did he climb up and carry her? To do this blood? Like what the heck is going on? He, like, cut himself and use his own blood or something? Jesus. So much blood! Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? No idea. Woly, woly, woly. This is creepy. More climbing. I like this, though. It's kind of fun. Hmm? Paint. Looks as though the killer was decorating oh. this. Okay, so it wasn't really her blood. He was just using some bloody paint-ish stuff. What's in the bag, Cole? What's in the bag? Son of a bitch wants her identified. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Yeah, that's kind of freaky. What is this guy doing? What do you do next? Jump off the side of the building? Like, what, dude? How'd you get up here? What are you doing? Why'd you waste all this paint? Could've painted my house! That is probably the coolest, craziest crime scene I've ever seen. My god. Obviously, it's terrible that the person was killed and they dragged all their things all over, but the dude, like, left this crazy trail with stuff all over the place, up buildings, like, I feel like a true detective finding things, and now... The tastiest ketchup in town is ketchup ketchup, apparently. Now we have to drive our way over to the residence on North Hill Street and see what's going on over there. Antonio's residence. Antonio Maldonado, poor woman. Here we go. Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him, and we close the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Uh, he's got a confession. And, you know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. Any oh, sorry. Ah, that was bad driving. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just so enamored with what Rusty was saying that I was not... Are you trying to kill me? No, I'm not. Get out of the way. Not, not, uh, sorry. Not focusing on the road. Rusty, I don't know, like, there's a weird part of me that thinks he's a suspect. Because he's, he's, he blows these cases off like they're no big deal. I don't even know 
But this person wasn't on a mountain, at least. Although, we did have to climb buildings, which is kind of like a, a concrete mountain, so there's still a little bit of mountainness to it. Here we go. All up to the house. Right here. Antonia's residence, 11, 1, 17 p.m. So it looks like they've got a mini hotel of sorts here. I am good looking for a placement. Thank you for noticing. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And before we enter the mini hotel of the Antonias, I'm going to wrap this episode up. Thank you guys very much for watching. This case seems pretty dang awesome. The killer is giving us more and more details, and I think they're all tied together. So, until next time, we find out what's really going on. Have a fantastic day. Drink some hot chocolate. All hail to Cola King, and we will see you later.